In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I run a 56 plus mile week whilst maintaining a family and working a full-time office job. done for you getting in your exercise and just being selfish especially when you've got a family which is why you got to try and get it in when you can and some days you don't get to do as much as you wish you could but it is what it is. And today is one of those days. You see, my partner works nights. So rather than getting home a little bit later, or running to work and back from work, I'll get the run in first, ride to work, run at lunch, and then ride back home. And it just means I'm, I'm home 30 minutes early, but every bit counts. And I think that's one of the keys to kind of trying to live this kind of lifestyle and having a healthy relationship is that you got to make sacrifices. Actually, King Midas suggested, let's be here for each other. So Tuesday is a working from home day and I get to take the kids to school, but I do miss the morning run. However, I go for a longer run at lunch, but after school activities get in the way of an afternoon run. So it turns into more of a spin bike day and a kettlebell day. Oh, the legs feel stiff on this one. There is no warm up. The run is the warm up.
On some days, my daughter has gymnastics right when I get back from work, which makes it pretty difficult to run or ride to work, which means it's a car day. However, we still get that lunch break running. So today is the day where we finally run to work and back from work. And I'm gonna take some food. So I've got some bagels and I've gotta put it in my running vest. And I forgot to leave my work laptop at work, which is in this bag. And now I need to run to work with it basically. So I've gotta try and empty out as much as possible. Get my water bottle, which can't remember where it is at the minute and then hit the road because it's 5.31 and I should already be out there by now. I've got my lights as well, headlamp, this one I hold and this one I'll just strap to the vest. Let's go. So it's a lunch break run. And you know, honestly, running to work doesn't feel like that much more energy than just going for a simple lunch break run. You might be thinking, well, how can 15 miles not feel like that much more than 4.3 miles? Well, when you break them up into three smaller runs, 15 miles doesn't feel all that outrageous. The morning run is always the hardest. Your legs are tired, stiff, and I don't really have time to do a 30 minute warm up. So I just kind of get straight into the run. Lunch break run feels okay to start off with. Legs get a little bit achy towards the middle. And then on the way home, you feel great because you're going home. And it's home time. Third, last run of the day. Like I said, the easiest. Always excited to go home and see the family. It just makes the run go that much smoother, that much easier, that much faster. Let's go. When you get back and you rode 10 miles, and you ran 10 miles, it's very tempting to sit back and say, I'm done for the day. But kids being kids, they've got other plans for me. There is no rest for the wicked. All right. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Side and hung up the phone. I've called every pepper farmer in the state of Louisiana. Cold as shit today. Windy and rainy. So Fridays is a little bit shorter of a day. 
so it means I get to leave the home a bit later and not have to carry those heavy ass lights. Headlamp, light on my chest, hand torch. And obviously I get a little bit more sleep. Final lunch break run. Really didn't want to do it today. Felt very tired. Hailstones. Home time. Friday. And this is the most British weather today. Freezing and raining in the morning. Hailstones at lunch. And now the sun is shining. Home time. Three seasons, one day. <laughs> 